Hi, I'm Chris Coven, and I'm the founder of In the House. Uh, twice each month, we have what we call CXO Fridays, where we talk about issues that are important to chief legal officers, general counsel, as well as other uh, C-suite executives. So today, we talked about the insurance industry and what's happening in the industry right now, what's the impact on uh, in-house professionals in that industry, and also the impact from a broader perspective on the entire uh, CXO community in different industries. So very quickly, I'll just share my key takeaways that I gleaned from what others shared of our panelists. One is that the regulatory environment in the insurance field is very active. Um, regulators are, tend to be very savvy in the industry, uh, in the insurance industry. They're into analytics. Um, and it's a really important to keep, a mind, keep that in mind as you work in the industry. Also, we're in this long-term low interest rate environment, which has a lot of impacts on the industry. And finally, diversity, equity, and inclusion is a huge issue across every industry. And we all need to make sure that our management uh, and our employee base uh, reflects the diversity of our culture as a whole. So those were some of my key takeaways. Uh, we also have Anita Sanger, who's the CEO of the Click Group with us. And we have Sheila Murphy, who's a longtime Fortune 50 uh, in-house lawyer and is also a consultant with the Bates Group. So Anita, first, would you share your key takeaways uh, from today's session? Sure. I think the key takeaways from, uh, that I got from the session was that the insurance industry is actually going through a lot of changes. It's got top line issues with, with, the, with the reducing uh, interest rate environment. It's got bottom line pressures that it's facing, but it, this is also a time that provides an opportunity for them to figure out how they, they leverage technologies to meet the needs of their customers more effectively uh, to make show that their employees are able to sort of serve those customers more effectively and then sort of figure out what they need to do to position their business, looking at alternate talent models, alternate operational models so that they're actually able to meet the needs of their customers much more effectively. So, and I think everyone is starting to realize and what this means for them in terms of even the GCs, uh, how, how they need to react in the, in the business and how they need to become more strategic advisors to their C-suite as their C-suite is trying to change how they are operating and serving the needs of their customers much more effectively. Great. Well, thank you, Nita. And Sheila, what are what are your what were, were your key takeaways from today's session? You know, what was interesting to me as we talked about the pressure points, the low interest rate environment, the active uh, regulatory environment, that the company and COVID on top of everything else, that the insurance industry is actually trying to innovate with all these pressures going on. They're looking at new products, new methods of delivery, delivery, and are there ways that they can innovate and become more efficient and more effective? So I think that they are trying to make lemonade out of some lemons. And I think they're taking some meaningful steps uh, in that reign. I think as they're innovating more, they are going to be needing more advisors, both internally and externally, who can assess those risks and compliance and look at those factors as they're moving forward because we're gonna be operating as we are now in a totally different environment than we used to. And so you have to be more agile in terms of what you create, but making sure that what you're creating and how you're implementing, it will be on par with the regulatory implications going forward. So I think it's a really exciting time to be in the insur insurance industry. And I think we're gonna see a lot more innovation, especially as their teams become more diverse and the companies become more inclusive and give that feeling of belonging to everybody. Well, great, thank you so much. We had a great panel today, Nita and Sheila, and thank you for your input. And Sheila, I love what you said about agile because as many business people know, the idea of agile development and agile operations really came from the tech sector, but now it's being applied widely across all industries, including the insurance industry. And I think it is exactly what we need now. We need to all be more agile and more flexible in our approach to whatever our industry is, including insurance. So thanks again. And I really appreciate uh, both of your uh, thoughtful input that you provided during today's session.